Okay, I think we're ready to move on now. Let us go through here and... Oh! Okay. So, I, I did have to reload the game, unfortunately. Uh, I got interrupted and I had to come back. So, I, these things did spawn in here, so I, I just apparently got unlucky before. <laughs> Die, bone red. And they... Huh. They were not here before. They definitely were not here before. Let's go ahead and put potion back in there. How's the studded leather? How's it compared to what I got there? That's better, actually. I'll put that to good use. And then I can drop this ring now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I had to, had to reload. Let me just double check, because like I said, there usually are monsters here. But I have not seen any of them. Except for over there in that corner. Did something just pop out of there? It did! I thought I heard that door open. That is so weird that... Apparently, whether or not there are monsters is... <laughs> whether or not there are monsters is weird. That's crazy. We do have Snot... What was it? Snot Wing? The Witch? <laughs> nah, Snot Wing! Uh, ew. I would have rather you stayed alive for a wrist blade. What the hell? Once again, it sounds so incredibly... I don't know. Suicidal? Suicidal the right word for it? And we've got tainted. I think those are technically upgrades from what we were seeing before. I don't think we've seen tainted before. But they, they you know, the upgrades and in the first act are not that big of a deal. It's when we start finding new enemies entirely that things start to pick up. Don't see anything else here in terms of treasure or anything like that. Not even another special. So let's move on. Get that casket open. Even though if you ask me they're sarcophagi, but apparently the game wants to call them caskets. We can go up here and usually there is bone ash here. I hate this guy. He's resistant to magic and he has cold. But he did drop a couple good items, it looks like. Let's use one of those healing potions. And no poison resist. Not that great. Anything else here? Nothing nothing particularly good. Now the cathedral is a little weird, if you ask me. Well, we've got the, the altar with... I assume this is supposed to be a carpet and it's not blood? Because if so, that is a lot of blood. If you go on the right side, it can go take you to the catacombs. But if you go up here a little bit more, you can find... I thought there was usually a special up here. Apparently I was wrong. You can find an amulet, though. Let's take a look at that. Hopefully it's something good. Mm, plus 9 to life, 10% damage taken goes to mana. No. Not gonna be worth it. You can find a small little room here with a few enemies, but nothing that great, really. Usually there's a treasure chest in here, and at least I've found that. Apparently I was wrong, and that's once again is random. And a little. The few things more than I expected in this game were random. There is great evil here. Yes, there is. And we will come across it shortly. This place is huge. This place, even though I just started it, right? And you're not going to be able to see how big it is for, for quite some time as I explore it. This place is ridiculous. I don't know who designed these catacombs, but once again, just completely random and it's it's going to be bigger than anything we've come across yet. I'm going to stick to hopefully this side here unless it's a dead end. Maybe no, I remember this place being huge. It looks so small right now though. So I'm a little bit thrown off. Die, dark shaman. Nobody cares. Just freaking shamans. These guys are easy as hell. I remember this place being ridiculously big. I would say the biggest in the game, but it's not. But it's it's bigger than you would expect. 
at this point in the game. It's bigger than anything we've come across. If I remember correctly, and so far the game's calling me a liar. This place is actually pretty damn small. Die, doom, bang. Cursed. I do not like curse. Ooh, chip diamond. You can always hear the ting of either a ring or, or emerald or uh, gems or that kind of stuff. I believe jewels make a slightly different noise, actually. Uh, running really low on room very early on here. I've already been here. Nothing good there. So I'm going to take this side now because... Oh! Here we go! Start seeing some new enemies. There's gargoyle heads. I hate them. Like you wouldn't believe. Gargoyle traps. Sorry. Those things suck. Oh, and we found an awesome treasure chest already. Fanatic dark shaman needs to die. And we should see a couple more of them because they always come in pairs from there. Remember? Got a champion here. Oh, and I used potion right before I love that. That is not good, actually. I pretty much wasted that potion. I have to pick up a few more up. Now, I thought those were only three that we took on there. But I don't see where the fourth one could be right now. I do not like the looks of that. It should be around here somewhere. Like I said, they almost always come in pairs. So when you see three, there should be a fourth line around somewhere. Pick up all this gold. Long staff. I think I want that. Let me just look here. No. Really? The long staff was crap? That sucks. This is super special awesome chest. Is the dark one through here? No. Oh, there we go. Yellow wolf head. I will have to go back to town in order to pick that up. With that wolf head picked up, let's actually complete that level up I got. We are at level 16 now. That is a very important level up for me. Uh, well, in my character, really. Uh, because it opens up the next line, I think. No? Oh, it's level 18. Damn it. I had my hopes up. I had my hopes up on 16, but I got two more to go. Uh, I guess there was a little confusion about what I'm doing when I go back to town. Uh, so I want to clarify that real fast. I'm not you know, going back there to buy really anything. Uh, what I do when I go back to town is I sell everything that I have been picking up, put some more stuff in the stash, uh, gems, uh, rejuvenation potions I put into the stash, and... and Wart's leg, pretty much. Everything else is... is either with me... Oh, and the rune that I picked up. The one rune I, that I have. I didn't put that in the stash. Everything else gets sold. Um, I don't buy anything in town. It's not like I'm stocking up on supplies. Every All the supplies that y you're going to see me have, I've been picking up out here. I don't buy supplies in town. So all I'm really doing is uh, going to Gruffin Kane, uh, having him identify some of my stuff, then going to a car and selling my stuff to her. I don't know why her, but... Uh, I think I go there just out of habit because she heals you. Um, and then I go to Charcy to repair my equipment, then store everything else in the stash and deposit all my money there. And that's all I do in, in town. And since that would be, I don't know, I, I, I would think that would be boring to watch, so I, I, I cut it out every time. Why am I having a hard time hitting you guys now? Do I need to switch my aura over? I did not mean to use that health shrine, but well, I did. Ooh, an eagle orb. Is this going to be worth it? Yes, because it does have plus one to a skill. Now, I did not want to go over here before, or I did. No, I did, and it was empty. So I'm moving on. Uh, this is a pretty small, actually, for, for a floor in the catacombs, as we'll see later. These things, like I said, are just insane. Huge. I don't know what they're trying to store in here. Once again, I've never been to a monastery. I don't know if I said that before. Well, I've never been, in, especially in the basement or the catacombs of the monastery. Dime storm win widow. I don't know if that means a storm killed your your wife. Overburdened. Really? There we go. I made room. It's fine. I'm gonna stop picking up rejuvenation potions. I've got plenty, and I might uh, start selling a few of them. I usually get too many of those, uh, and 
But you don't need that many for crafting, I don't think. So I'm going to probably stop picking those up now. While I still um, have a little room, I should say. What the oh, we've got new enemies. These are enemies that I briefly went over before. We didn't get a chance to look at them, though, because Mahalo works too damn fast. Um, th they are rat men, I believe, in this... Uh, in this dungeon. They'll, they'll go by many other names in other parts of the map, but right now they are rat men. Hopefully we can... well, I know we're gonna find another another little batch of them somewhere along the line, but hopefully one of them drops a spear so you can see how ridiculous it looks to see those tiny little things drop this giant spear. Holy crap, we got quite a few shamans in here. Those are what I'm really concerned about. Down goes one of them. There we go. There's... Where'd it go? There you are. Rat man. Die. Did not drop anything funny. But when he does... Man, it's just huge. You know what I mean? It's just... It's like two or three times the size of him. Yet somehow he was holding on to it and not using it. Probably because he cannot hold it. That's so I just my thoughts there. Alright, let's go over on this side. Die, you stupid rat men. And ne neither one of them drop anything. I don't know, like, specific drop rates. I don't know if it changes per per enemy. Finally, we've reached the next level here. Th like I said, this is, this is one of the smaller parts of the dungeon. You'll see it just start to get ridiculous. At least I remember it. it I could be remembering it wrong, uh, I, I just have been playing some of the expansion where literally it, I'm just running around going, Oh my god, how big could this part of the dungeon be? I'd rather have a, a short dungeon with harder enemies than a long dungeon with uh, weaker enemies. That's just me. That's just how I like to play games. I don't like running around forever. I know other people disagree. They like, uh, they like the dungeon crawl. I've never been a big fan of it. I like to get through a game, you know? But, you know, to each his own, I guess. Take on these Tainted should not be a problem, even though Mahala is just glitched out over there. Mm, I think... Yeah, I am full. On Town Portals. Uh, string, strangling Gas Potion. Not worth me even picking up anymore. And, yeah, I figured we would have a lot more down here, so let's keep going. Have to keep in mind, though, that there is more to be had further past the, the entrance up there. Now, open up the chest. Thank you. Choose this small corridor here. Really? I've already found the way down. So these, these places are not nearly as big as I was remembering them. I don't know. Maybe it was just because I remember having such a hard time here the first time I played the game. But looking back, I, I was just being stupid. I would never go for, for magic items. I would just go for whatever I came across that had the highest uh, the highest defense, no matter what. And as you can see, since I'm still on quilted armor and a cap with three defense, I am not going for that anymore. I, I go for magic mostly this time. I think it is the smarter choice. Uh, I've been told otherwise. Well, I've been told that there's a balance. Uh, between going for defense and going for magic. Uh, for all the stat bonuses and all that kind of stuff. And of course there is going to be a point where I might have to abandon, uh, you know, my magic items. But right now I do need to go back to town so I can pick up that longbow and sell it. But yeah, in town, uh, I should mention that I pretty much go by Final Fantasy rules. Um, and those of you that don't play Final Fantasy, pretty much the rule is that... Uh, see, now here's another group of three. Apparently that was wrong. I remember them always coming in pairs, but apparently they can come in groups of three as well. Uh, Final Fantasy, pretty much, you don't buy uh, a lot. You won't need to buy that much in, gr in town. We see new enemies here, the Rax. Uh, because what you come across... Um, from from random encounters and in treasure chests and all that kind of stuff is going to be better than what you can typically buy in the town you just were in. Uh, so if if you have a, a question of what you can spend money on, really, 
I guess I'll... I don't want to go back to town, you know? Fine, I will. I'll continue my logic when I'm back. But as I was saying, in, uh, in Final Fantasy, uh, if you have a choice between buying uh, spells in the early games, you can buy the spells. If you have a choice between that and buying uh, equipment, always go for spells first. Uh, because you're likely to find something better in your travels for, for, for armor and all that kind of stuff. Fangtown, worth it? Yes, it is. So it looks like I've had to change my little tactic here a bit of how I'm clearing out this dungeon. Uh, there is going to be a waypoint somewhere around here, like right there. Uh, we will... Yeah, I'm gonna use it. This is actually the last waypoint in... Uh, the first act, so we are getting very close to the end of the first act, uh, ready for another cutscene very shortly. Now, I had problems with the cutscenes before, I don't know if I went over that, but yeah, there. Had some problems with those, that was why I, I delayed this Let's Play a couple days longer than I had wanted to. I believe I started it on a Saturday when I wanted to start it on a Tuesday, uh, because I couldn't get the cutscenes to work properly. But I have figured out a way to get that done. So, we should be able to go through that just just fine. Another jawbone cap. Hopefully that's going to be worth it. Uh, we will eventually get to a point where I don't uh, loot while, while Mahal is still killing things. But we are not there yet. Things are really easy right now. Uh, let me just double check. Everything in there has been done. Let's grab that chest. Nothing good. Uh, when we go to the next uh, next act, we will be in a new town, and I will definitely show off uh, what they sell and all that kind of stuff, uh, just for references sake. Uh, then, uh, pretty much, I'll, I'll, I'll cut everything out once again. That is my plan. Die! It would help if I hit you when I said die. Get over here and die. Where is my chance to hit? Did it drop? No, it's still 95%, which is maximum in this game. You can't go over that. Um, and it, it that does factor in uh, defense and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that little number of your chance to hit. Die, Rax! Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to name these Rax, but that's what I've known them as. I hate these gargoyle traps. They hit you from a long ways away. Uh, this is not uh, the part where I hate them. There is another place where they show up uh, that makes them so much worse, if you ask me, because of their range. Really? Like, you s you've got like these tiki torches all around this chest and there is nothing in it? It's bullshit, man. I call bullshit on that. Did I open this? I did not. Another empty one. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. And these spiders, yeah, you're never, ever going to see an enemy in this game that just makes one appearance. So even though we're at the end of Act 1 and you don't see upgrades of them here in Act 1, you will see them later on. There's there's always palette swaps of these enemies. There's always upgrades. I cannot see where I am right now. For some reason, the game glitched out on me right there. But we have only one more room to go, and then it looks like we are done with this second floor here, the second level. And... Oh, treasure chest. Almost missed you. Almost missed both of you. Anything over here? No. We are ready to move on, and I kind of hate how their, uh, their torches keep a light after they're dead. Makes me think that there is something else alive there. But there isn't. There is nothing there. Alright, let me check on my inventory real fast. Uh, that's right, I only picked up the one thing. So I uh, do not need to go back to town just yet, and I think I am ready to move on. I might need to use a stamina potion in order to get back down to those damn stairs. They're on the complete opposite side of where I went, which kind of sucks, but I'm really more disappointed that there was nothing in that treasure chest. That kind of... Yeah. This, this is supposed to be the, the awesome glowy treasure chest of the level. Uh, every, one, every level should have one, if I remember right. Um, it's, you know, somewhere hidden. Uh, as we get further on in the level. Oh! Upgraded uh, zombies. Walking dead. Uh, 
These guys are or enchanted. Looks like they have cold on strike, all of them. And one of them, he dropped a charm. Now, I, I have been dropping my, uh, ooh, a full healing potion. I have been dropping my char uh, scrolls of identify in town, so I don't have one with me. I should have brought one. It was not smart of me to leave all of them. I think I had three. Uh, but I felt they were just taking up too much spots, uh, too many spots in my inventory, so I ditched them in town. Uh, I'll bring one with me from now on in case, like this, I do get a charm. Now these, these corner rooms here, they are death traps. I'm gonna go in anyway, but just be wary. These places are tough. Was there, was there a minor healing potion? There was a light one. I'll just pick it up and use it. Why not? Okay, let's go in here. Uh, these are gonna typically have new enemies that we haven't seen before. Uh, they'll all have the same ones, but... These have Night Lords! But this is Champion the Banished. You know how much I hate mages. Uh, yes, these are... All... Oh, the, they're all the Banished. I've known them as Night Lords because I'm thinking of a upgrades, actually. But, yeah, these are the Banished. And, yeah, they come in threes. I'm so used to them in fours, which is throwing me off. Can I pick all, all these? I can't carry any. I think I should be able to make room. Um, I should be able to. You go. No, I can't. <laughs> Damn it! I should have been able to figure that out before. All right, but since I'm going back to town, might as well pick up these hatchet hands. They'll sell for less than a hundred, but I'm going back to town. Anyway, is there anything here that I want? Nope. Alright, back to town.